testing. <laughs> Everyone's right when they say we truly have the best games in the country. I will never forget the feeling I get running out on the floor of 10,000 screaming cyclone fans. The way you all cheer when we make a hustle player hit a game-changing three. The emails, letters, text messages, and phone calls we get after a win are greatly appreciated. I cannot imagine being part of any other community other than Ames, Iowa. Walking in the high gate will never be the same without friendly smiles and high fives and from some of you wishing us luck with our next opponent or congratulating us on our recent win. I wish I could personally walk around and give each one of you a hug, but since we play Missouri on Saturday, please refer to the program for additional thank yous. <laughs> I've been fortunate enough to get to know some of you personally, like the Crawford family from Nevada and Matt and Albert from Ames. You are great people, and anybody who is willing to cook for 10 to 15 basketball players is greatly appreciated. Also, Stephen and Shuey, you've grown to be great friends with my mom and dad, and have done countless things for me over the years, such as late night rides and having fun in the sun at Clear Lake. Thank you. This year, we were able to adopt our most important teammate, Elise Lambert. Through her, we found courage and strength. While not only does Elise literally Look up to us all, but we look up to her because she has already because of what she has already faced at the young age of five. It has taught it has taught our team to not not take opportunities for granted and to never give up. It has been great getting to know the Ebert family this season and having them travel with us to Nebraska. And I know there will be many more memories yet to come. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to be a part of your lives. You're an amazing addition to our cycling family. 
You bring so much passion and heart to our TV program. You know how to keep everyone calm and light in the mood. It's been nice having you on the sidelines during practice to be able to talk with you and learn from you. You know so much about the game of basketball. And bring so much to our team. I can always count on you to say something to put a smile on my face. For that, I'm saying a thank you. Over and I'm almost graduated. Will you go out with me? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Anyway, I didn't think I would ever meet anyone that stomped their foot on the sideline harder than Coach Finley until I met you. <laughs> I can't imagine planning cross-country trips for 30 to 40 people, especially not to Hawaii or the Virgin Islands. But you have done it successfully more than once. You keep this program clicking every day, and for this, I thank you. Coach David, I'm so honored to be, able to be able to have been coached by someone with so much passion for our program. You have always believed in me and have always been there for me. You are a great person and coach. You have always made an effort to go out of your way to make sure I'm feeling and making make sure I'm feeling good and making sure everything is going fine for me and the team. Also, after the season ends, can you enroll me in one of your kickbox kickboxing classes? <laughs> but remember, I'm just a beginner, so take it easy on me. Coach easy. I'm going, to miss you telling, I'm going to miss you telling me to get down in defensive stance every day. Although I'm not sure mine will ever be as good as the one you've demonstrated, me, demonstrated for me thousands of times freshman year. But then again, I'm not sure I'd about to make me right freshman year. I'll never forget the day you told me I was softer than sharp and toilet paper. And I would most importantly like to thank you for teaching me the proper way to use my weapon for boxing out. Coach Finley's wife, Deb, for always being so supportive. I can honestly say, seeing you both makes me feel a little bit better, even after a bad game of practice. Also, if you can make it any practices this month, I would greatly appreciate it. They are much more pleasant when you're in there. Thanks for everything. Coach Deb. You have so much passion for your job, and you truly love what you do. I know that sometimes the guards are hard to deal with, and I know that you get frustrated with us, but I know it's only because you strive to bring the best out of each and every one of us. I will never forget the way you pace up and down the sidelines during practice, shaking your head and throwing your hands up in the air in disgust. <laughs> or in post-guard breakdown drills when you are running around trying to squeeze 30 drills in 10 minutes of time span and yelling at us to finish every shot. Run faster and cut harder. I appreciate you putting up with my occasional dirty looks during practice and trying to calm me down when I get myself all worked up. I will never forget the things you have helped me accomplish during my time here. Thank you. And finally, Coach Finley. It feels like just yesterday when you kicked me out of practice while on the so-called island of paradise in Hawaii. A 20 story hotel room thinking you were definitely going to throw me over the edge. <laughs> I will never forget the many times you were at half court at half time when I made some sort of defensive error or lapse in judgment. We have always had kind of a love hate relationship. <laughs> we are both very stubborn people. Even after that, though, you've always pushed me to do the best in everything I've done. Um, I've never been afraid to walk into your office and talk to you about things that are on my mind, even if they have nothing to do with basketball. You have always been there when I have needed you most. And I know you will always give me an honest answer.